This video is about the Strategic Air Command, right? That's right. Okay. <laughs> We're at the Strategic Air Command Museum. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Hi, we are Tom and Beth, our venture weights. We sold our house and most of our belongings, moved into our fifth wheel full time to explore the USA. We are excited about our venture of this beautiful country. Follow us along on our journey. As Helen Keller once said, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. Thor intermediate range ballistic missile. Look at how big this thing is. That's a pretty big. That is pretty big. How about that? Greeted with an SR-71 when you come in the door. That is pretty cool. Dedicated to those valiant strategic airborne reconnaissance crew members who gave their lives during the Cold War and to their families whose sacrifice continues. September 6, 1996. We must never forget that freedom is never really free. It is the most costly thing in the world. Freedom is never paid in a lump sum. Installments come due in every generation. All any of us can do is offer the generations that follow a chance for freedom. So you can see a couple of the projects they're working on in their restoration gallery. There's an F-117 stealth fighter down there. That's so cool. Look at that. Yeah, that wow. is pretty cool. And of course, there's one of the strategic um, information gathering type aircraft. I'm not sure exactly what that was. Might have actually been a refueler as well. It, had, it at least had the ability to do refueling, but absolutely beautiful aircraft they're working on there. And this one, that's gonna be beautiful when it's done. So if you have kids, there's a lot of hands-on activities for the kids to do at this museum. Here's a view from the gallery as we're getting ready to go down the steps. There's some wonderful aircraft here. And there's my beautiful wife. So there's a space exhibit here as well with multiple different displays. So over here is the Apollo boiler plate, which was basically same size, weight, and everything used for demonstrations and research and stayed active through the entire program. And then over here is an actual Apollo capsule with a bunch of cutaways. So you're able to see all of the different parts and uh, components inside this capsule. They even have a section on the space race in TV, you know, the Jetsons and Star Trek and Lost in Space. Beth was just rehearsing the song that they used to sing at the beginning of the Jetsons. Here's the X-38 CRV. They were never actually used. Instead, they went into the space shuttle. They ended up using the space shuttle, excuse me. But this was a project that was not a full-size mock-up, but they were tested to bring people back from the space station. KC-97G. C-119G, flying boxcar. Big cargo airplane. We're not letting people go inside of it anymore. They used to, but not anymore. Does anybody remember the name of the movie that had Nicolas Cage in it? Had this airplane? Douglas C-54D. That's a pretty airplane. B-29, the lucky lady. And there's my wife. She's a lucky lady too. There's a shot inside the canopy. Looking in the canopy of the B-29. F-102A. I gotta hand it to the pilots that flew these things. I don't know how I would ever sit in a confined space like that. 
and fly these aircraft. This is the cockpit of the F-102A. Bazooka, the Jeep, the atom bomb, and the DC-3. That's how Dwight D. Eisenhower summed up the equipment that contributed to the Allied victory in World War II. The DC-3, also known as the C-47. Here's a beautiful example of a C-47. This is a MiG-21F. This one has the paintings of the North Vietnamese on it. That was acquired by this museum in 1990. So there's a view of the other side of that MiG-21. So here's some more hands-on activities for kids and others. There's the FB-111. The outer wing portions of the main wings on these would go back and forth. They would slick back for going faster and they would move out like they did on an F-14 for low speed and more maneuverability. FB-111, the fighter bomber. There's a B-17, beautiful aircraft. There's an HU-16B. It's a multi-use aircraft. Could be used for sea landings to rescue people. There's a B-17. Oh, that's not There's right. There's the B-47E. Beautiful big bomber. And then over here, is a B-52. There's an F-4. And then we move over here, Grease Lightning, B-58 Hustler. Tokyo to London, 8,028 miles in eight hours, 35 minutes. This airplane was moving. Here's a B-57E support bomber. B-36, say it was the largest production aircraft ever built. Look at this thing. That is huge. Look at how high those wings are up there. A-26 Invader. If you've seen the movie Always, they used a converted A-26 as a firefighting airplane. There's an F-86. Beautiful fighter aircraft. And there's an F-84 hanging from the sky there. This is part of a B-25. That's part of the Doolittle Raid exhibit that they have. You can go up and climb in and see what the inside of this aircraft looked like. It's amazing to see in here. Yeah, it really is. And then there's another B-25 over here to the side. Yep. There's the cockpit, B-25. That was a B-25N, and there's another B-25 over here. Beth's uncle flew in a B-25 in World War II and was shot down over the Philippines. And he now lays to rest in Arlington National Cemetery. RB-45C reconnaissance aircraft. I don't know that I've ever seen one of these before. It's a pretty interesting looking aircraft. Here's a great view from the gallery on the second deck. 
of all the aircraft inside this section of the museum. There's also a section in this museum that is dedicated to women in aerospace. And their contributions. If you ever wondered what the bottom of an SR-71 Blackbird looked like, here it is. That is a big airplane. Super fast. Did a great job, lasted a long time. Well, we hope you enjoyed our little video tour of the Strategic Air Command and Aeronautics Museum. And I also want to tell you that when you come here, they have a military active duty rate and a retired military rate. So make sure you ask about that because it is a little bit cheaper. I think it was $12 for Tom and $14 for me. So, because yep. I'm just a military spouse, right? Yeah, she had the most important job though. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, check that out when you come here. It's really, it's kind of tucked away. I didn't expect to find this here, but it's really it's in nice. Ashland, Nebraska. Check it out if you're in the area. Yep. And... Please we'll click and subscribe. <laughs> I must do what you did the other day. That's right. And, <laughs> and we'll, we'll see, see you around, around the campfire. campfire. Bye. Bye.